hey guys welcome back to our channel chanda awesome again in this great tutorial we will learn about um, how to use the two tools means uh, i'm going to teach you about two tools today because it's easy not at all uh, it's not a complicated tool that's why that is known as shell tool and split tool today i'm going to teach you the both so please watch till the end to know how to use these tools okay guys for rush time i'm going to add this okay and don't mind this guys this is an another feature script which is why i will teach you how to work with this in later videos let's side that video for now and this tool okay and open this part uh, uh, for just now i just created a cylinder i i think you might know how to create a cylinder easily okay just draw the circle the plane draw the circle and next to it so and i know i want to shell this which means i want to make this uh, part into the hello shape with the one side open if you want to do that you can select that shell shape and set the faces to remove so i'm going to select this face and see the part gone to cell operation and it asks thickness how much thickness you want to be inside here by default it will have 0.1 inch even if you can increase or even you can decrease it's all about your wish that's how to use the shell tool and we have another one and here you might observe that is hello hello means guys it is going to make the hello the part but the both side will be closed so for now i am going to sell this hello and see it is saying it is asking parts to hello before it is asking the faces to remove and when i click on hello it is asking the parts to be hello so for now i am going to the same color filter and it gone under the shell operation how i know means it's not showing any error so i'm going to click on it and it run the operation but you might can't understand as whether it is how the hello operation work for the clear understanding just go to the uh, use option in this you can see the last option was section view click on it and it's asking select section planes planes of face is all your wish guys so it's uh, for the default for the first time was i'm going to select the plane as asking i'm going to select the top plane so let me redo again sorry let me redo again and select the plane and select the parts okay okay wait okay so here we can see after when clicking on the cell the plane it is showing the arrows one is for direction and another two is for rotating angles in both the directions uh, let me teach you i think it got stuck the system is not very comfortable guys okay So let me show you again. My working is not working. I think. See here it asks showing the direction. One, two are for rotating and one is for direction to open. So when I am going to click, uh, select this arrow button, click, click on it, left click and drag to downside, and you can see the section view of the part. When clicking on section view, you can see. there is said there is a hello inside the part as i told you before the part want to be want to be shell but the port fits to be closed before i click on it the section view will be fixed then you can clearly understand it the part gone through uh, a shell operation if you want to uh, if you want to switch off the section view again click on the view section and turn off section view and you get the part again that's all about how to work with the shell tool guys 
as in the previous video in the rip tutorial i have teach you about the alternate of shell tool uh, if you have missed it i give the video in the description or in the cards you can watch it if you want okay so next what it is called as split tool let's click the split tool and what is asking split tool means you can by the board meaning you can easily understand split means it is going to split the part into two parts and uh, many it's a uh, depends on us okay and it's like uh, making the parts into parts using this split tool okay and in this split tool we have two sessions again parts and faces uh, if you want to split the part you can select the part if you want to split the faces you can split the you can sell the faces let's work with the part guys so what is this asking parts surfaces are cows to split if you want to split cow surfaces for parts surface of cows it is asking to sell them so now i want to sell like this cylinder part okay i can sell it and into split that means it is asking uh, one entity means one uh, any surface or any plane or uh, any some body type which need to like uh, if you want to cut a um, apple we need a another entity called knife or chalk uh, uh, like that so this is asking some entity that will cut the part into two parts so here for now we don't have any entity so for now I'm just going to create a plane. I'm going to use this plane as the entity. Offset the plane and give the distance to one point or so, somewhat like that. And I'm going to split, select the split tool again, and select the part and entity to one. I'm going to use this plane as the entity to cut the part. When I click on this, you can see the part becomes splitted, and and here you can also observe that. The extra part will be formed if i deselect this it, uh, right again if i deselect the entity plane uh, see if i deselect the entity plane the part falls until uh, disappear if i select the plane it means you can see the extra part we created that means this part got into two parts and it asking it is having the uh, again some toggle options that is called uh, keep tools keep tools mind guys what we have used the entity to cut the part that is known as tools if you want to keep the tools you can keep the if you don't want then uh, planes and uh, it going to be uh, disappear from the part as it's saying it's a planes and mechanics will be kept which means uh, here we use the plane right that's why it's saying the planes will not be disappeared that's what it's showing and keep both sides both sides means uh, whenever you set split the part if you want only one uh, one part from to be visible you can Decelect this keep both parts, and you can see only the one part will be there. And it's asking direction, which means which part you want to be want to be there. If you uh, change this direction, and only down part will be there, and upward will disappear. If you want to, if you want both files, means you can click on keep up on tools, and both parts will be there in the past to stay there and another we have trim the face boundaries face boundaries guys here you can't see the face boundaries because it is a cylinder you can't really get the it is written the face boundaries or not oh, that's why uh, if you send some regular shapes there you might can understand the trim the face boundaries option okay and i'm just now i'm clicking on this and you can see the two parts were selected. If I hide this, uh, let's make transparent and see this is one port and this is another part. 
here you can also highlight that this is this one got it this is how to use the split tool for the parts and now i if you want to split the faces just select the face part and which faces you want to display so here you need to select the faces so for now i'm going to use the same thing again and select the face of the cylinder and increase to display which entities i am going to set the same thing again and you can see the face of the part is splitted but not the part here you can also observe that the part is not extra part is not formed that means the only face gone splitted here so you might think that what is the use of splitting the face guys um by splitting the face you can perform uh, uh, different operations on the same part body like um, in, in you can understand in, in the draft while i explaining about the draft tool you can understand how i use the split tool for making you understand the um, uh, make you understand the part line with the two sided one if you are missing this uh you can find the tutorial in our description you can watch from it later okay uh, so here you can see only the face got separated so from this you can do as many operations as for you want and it, so even um even you can change colors even for say appearance see by giving the different colors you can understand the only face part is this separated so it have many advantages of splitting the face guys so you in future tutorials i will teach you when working with the faces tools these are all our uh, faces tools guys it is very useful to learn them and also it will make this view perfect in designing the surface designs okay let me explain the remaining in the face and it asks me each projection options which means uh, in which direction the edge projection you want to be it's like it asking the direction you sketch plane direction means uh, i selected the plane right right this plane too and it has it's taking the same direction as take here uh, by click on if i don't click on this uh, i want to change the direction and it is normal to target but here it is not happening do you know why so because of it is just like a simple a simple cylinder you can't clearly understand so for your better understanding let me hide this part and come try which let me try a cube uh, let me take the center point rectangle i just created a rectangle i'm going to extrude it so why i'm doing this guys uh, from this you can clearly understand what is the circular of on surface you can get it if you change the color for better visuals like um, not the face you want to change the part color Done. so now i'm going to do the split operation with this on faces and it is having several faces inside let me set the all faces and this to be split and taking as the this one oh okay and uh, it is asking direction again which direction you want to be let to be select here or uh, sorry uh, each projection normal to try again it to select this keep uh, it means it is not working for normal to target each projection options which we how do we explain this guy 
Okay, guys. Uh, I think uh, this direction is just for the projection of curves, guys. Which means uh, how does the uh, edge projection will be in direction in which direction you want to be. You can also change the direction like uh, you you might get understand when you work with the projection curve from the edges. Okay. Uh, right now I'm going to, to show you how to uh, not only work with the plan you can be, uh, you can also split the you know, split with the curves. Uh, let me select the plane and draw a spline. Okay, I'm going to front face and just triangle that random spline guys. So there you might kind of understand. Okay, that's enough for me. And go extrude this line just like that in the extrude tool and let this part will be penetrate into the part okay and click on okay now do the uh, split operation again to this set the split plane and you, you want to be split the part like this so for that simple guys just select the part and increase to the speed and set this now and you can see the part was separated as per the curve uh, curve shape okay here it's showing this keep the both tools are not if you undo uh, not clicking on this it will hide and even it also not going to show in this surface also see when i it means it already used and there is no use of again that is what this mean if i am um, not not um, means not going to take the surface is not showing if you don't click the surface is showing that is the use of pupils guys now we want to see the faces so the same just select the faces and select the entity therefore you can clearly understand the parts undergo the uh, I mean the face undergo to the split operation so if you still want to to see them keep two surfaces and curves okay this and have this one you can see the only face called to the split operation okay so uh, that's all i got today's topic guys i think you might understand how to use this shell tool as well as the speed tool in the on shape part studio with the with your according to the design requirements and uh, i think uh, i already teach you about uh, even you can also split the faces according to the text you want on the surfaces i think i already uh, shared in our channel uh, i'm going to give the link also in the description if you are interested please do go there and watch it um that's all i was today topic guys i think thanks for watching and at last guys i am want your suggestion that shall i uh, uh, shall i do a tutorials on other cat softwares like tinkercad um fusion 360 or solidbox i am presently trying to learn them and uh, while i'm learning i learning i also want to teach you with them if you are okay with this uh, please give a comment in a uh, in this video comment box okay uh, don't forget to do like share and subscribe our channel guys uh, this will be very motive for me if you subscribe and like our videos thank you guys thank you have a nice day